hey friends in this video i am going to show you uh, we will basically continue our series of to do application in node.js so in today's video we will uh, see how to connect socket io with our front end or client side basically okay so first of all let's see um, uh, i am just uh, hang, uh, seeing this um i don't know why i opened this file never mind leave that okay so we need bin folder here and go to this file www just single www without any extension of javascript or like dot js dot html no nothing the icon uh, why i am showing this icon is because of my extension uh, or uh, I guess because of Visual Studio, not by extension. Uh, anything? Um, leave that. Never mind. Uh, now we need what we need to do here. See line twenty two here. Find this line HTTP dot create server. Find this line and below this line, what we need to do is const or uh, leave that to uh, let's say was uh, require and uh, our file name which currently we don't have but we will create soon is socket in socket directory a file called socket js and we will call that file or um, or the function which the file will have and pass this server object now let's create this file so in case if you hear any background noise please leave that and i am really sorry for that uh, let's create a folder called socket and uh, then a file called socket.js now what we need to do is to create function you can name anything you want uh, I am just writing socket which obviously take a function uh, or a parameter or an argument called server or object um, I guess you are understanding I hope you are understanding sorry for my bad English and uh, uh, now we have to do is const io equals to require socket io and we will pass this server in that and now we can use io dot and anything else we can use i don't know why this uh, extension or visual studio intelligence is not giving me um, suggestions okay we got that all io dot on on connection we will uh, ignore background voices and uh, let's continue focus on the work uh, we will give this socket and we will just console log socket dot id and uh, now we need to uh, write module dot exports equals to socket and make sure you don't call that function because we are calling here and passing server now let's um okay this app got crashed because i have already started my server uh, let's rerun this i hope this will find the file and everything should work fine um no let's see cannot find oh okay okay i guess there is the problem we need to do this now let's rerun this okay so this is running right now and but but we cannot see right now anything on our console of like 
socket id because we didn't connect it right now our front end so we need to do is here write script src equals to forward slash socket dot io slash socket dot io don't worry about the path or this file the socket io will automatically uh, give this path or make of this path available and we have to write this socket dot io slash socket io dot js now if we reload our page and see console we probably shouldn't see anything otherwise we will see an error okay um i guess this is not working wait uh okay okay this should not work because we need to call socket function so to call that function i am writing script and then const socket equals to io and call that function now everything should work fine this has been this file has been saved and reload this and let's okay we got that here is our socket so we have successfully connected our socket now let's connect mongoose which probably i haven't connected in my previous video let's see that i forgot basically um okay let's do that what we need to do here is um i'm here okay go here and write var mongoose i'm using var because of mongoose bug and i guess uh, it is it has been fixed but uh, i'm just trying you can use const let um i'm using mongoose package and now here i'll write a comment which says connecting connection to mongoose now here uh, we will write const uh, actually where where connection equals to uh, let's say this mongoose connection because in uh, in future we may get confused what's this connection variable uh, mongo mongo connection equals to mongoose dot connect and we will pass a string which is which we have to get from here uh, i am i have just opened a new terminal tab and typing mongo d to turn bring uh, to turn on my server of mongodb which i have already pre installed this should work um why this is not uh, showing me that url which i need okay we need one more terminal don't worry uh, i'm i i will close this terminal we have to write mongo we have opened our terminal uh, terminal what i am saying uh, we have opened turned on our uh, mongo server and now we are just to bring this url i am i i uh, basically i uh, i gave this command i am really sorry for my bad english really really sorry <laughs> pad on that okay now uh, we need to write use new url parser equals to true otherwise it will give us some deprecation warnings and use unified topology true now let's see if mongoose get connected uh, let's uh, let's close this and one more time exit okay so now as you can see we have two terminals right now and uh, uh, leave this i am hiding this terminal windows now dot then because it's it will give us a promise 
and we will write function if it's get resolved resolved this means resolved console log mongo connected otherwise if any error comes we will say uh, error 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 okay now let's see that focus on uh, left window here yeah, as you can see mongo connected so in uh, future videos we will uh, connect and we have already connected what i'm saying uh, we, in future videos we will uh, manage crud operation and perform tasks and connecting socket io and blah 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 what we need uh, to do in this project okay so till then take care bye bye see you in the next one